friends, here we are. We are finally back in uh, Sturgeon Bay. It's um, it's been about four months since the last upload, uh, so uh, a hefty chunk of time there. And um, uh, okay, let's see. This is my third attempt trying to do this voiceover because the other ones got interrupted. So uh, let's see. Oh, oh, I just got chills on my back. Oh, oh, I don't know why. That's weird. Um, Alright, yeah, this episode we're going to be placing a bunch of, um, I guess you could say, like, transitional buildings to get us from skyscraper territory into more kind of older downtown buildings and stuff like that, is what this is going to be. Uh, that, that's, I actually have the next two episodes recorded uh, already, and I'll be trying to edit those today too, and uh, th this... Um, the file has actually been sitting in the folder for about four months as well since I recorded this pretty much around the time that the last one was uploaded and I mean the reason I took a break there, there's a couple reasons I think first and foremost is just kind of how there was that a multitude of times in October when I was sick and didn't really have the opportunity to do a whole lot in the way of this uh, and I, I got over those um, and then just after that I I had I was kind of drained in the way of motivation for some reason like it just didn't feel like there was too much I wanted to work on with this right now um, so I didn't even really open the file for months at a time and just kind of let it sit around and I, I, that's not something that I can say I really planned on doing. It, it just kind of ended up like that. And I suppose another thing that I think is important to keep in mind is how I'm operating on the schedule of a high schooler. So I don't have all this time to be doing for just for just these videos and stuff and really uh, first and foremost is uh, my studies because I'm, I'm getting ready for uh, college and stuff so it's becoming even more important now than ever before um, and if I was better in studies I'd actually probably have more time to work on this it's more so of an issue that I always struggle to focus on my studies enough so I do have to put more time into it uh, this go around um, which is why again I had to take a break I seem to do that a lot where I just I'll, I'll make a few videos and then I'll disappear for months at a time it's a bad habit of mine I've been doing that for as long as I can remember that I've been doing YouTube it, it's just kind of a thing that I do um, and you actually one thing uh, I was gonna point out you may have noticed at the beginning of this um, at the beginning of this video here of this sequence this time-lapse uh, is I we were kind of thrown right into the action um, like there was already some stuff that had been placed down and that's because there was originally another section of this video beforehand but that ended up just becoming 90% me going around and giving uh, a bunch of buildings tags like downtown like if you if you look at my find it bar there you'll see that everything is marked as downtown that I'm searching from which it helped me to organize it a lot but at the same time took a long time to organize um, and so I just ended up just being like you know what I don't need to include that bit because this you know what I have right now ends up getting to 20 minutes anyway so it's not a big deal um, and w what I said about high school like stuff like that like that's the time for my work on like I said yeah I am getting towards college um, and actually just the other day I went and visited the college that I'm probably going to be going to which is my local university uh, it, it, it's not my first choice I had actually gotten accepted to the University of Iowa as well and that's kinda where I would like to go the the problem being is that is uh, a good bit out of my price range just because I'm out of state and my state does not have reciprocity with them you know it probably should and uh, just it, it ends up looking way too expensive and 
I don't get a whole lot of financial aid. There, there's a whole lot of complicated factors that go into that. But I'm going to have to go to my local university, I think, for a couple of years, which I didn't really want to do um, because they don't even really have the major that I'm looking for. I, I'm looking to do something in um, civil engineering is what I have in mind. And the university I'm going to probably go to here does have engineering, but they do not have civil engineering. Uh, but what I found out uh, and sorry if I'm just rambling on here instead of talking about what's actually going on in the video because I mean I explained this is the, like what this is this is just me placing a bunch of buildings um, for this one um, what the uh, what they offer that you have a pre-engineering program though where I would go to this university for a couple years uh, get my generals out of the way and then I would transfer to a different university which in this case um, given the state where I live, would be a very nice university that would uh, end up taking me to uh, the University of Wisconsin in Madison, which is a very good school. That's a place I would have loved to go, but my GPA has never been that good. I don't know if you just heard my voice crack, but it did, and it sucked. Ow. Um, well, not ow. Why did I say ow? It didn't hurt. It was just oof. It, it was oof. Uh, actually, uh, one thing I can talk about in this time lapse here is I really found that a lot of these little theater type props um, make really good uh, downtown buildings. Like there's that one there, uh, I just moved away from it, it had kind of like a golden thing um, by the sign or something, I don't know how to describe it, but just the theater assets and there was another one I placed earlier in the, uh, in the episode that had a whole separate theater hall building to it. Those are really good looking and just I, I like the, you know, I like that they have their own kind of flair just because they're a theater. Um, and it's like, hey, look at this. I got these old historic theaters. It's, it's pretty cool. And then also, um, just there's some of these taller Brooklyn buildings that end up uh, adding some nice height so it doesn't just shoot up from being like five stories to like 40. And there is some more variance, like actually right across the street there that you're looking at. That's one of those buildings I'm talking about that gives more height variance. Uh, oh yeah, one of the other things I did, because um, I just saw this, and you know, of course, now I'm remembering things to talk about. There is that um, one-way street there, and there's another one going the other way, and I decided to do that just to add some more flair to the road system that we have, because it, it felt kind of bland without having a lot of, you know, one-ways and stuff, and not that you need a ton of one-ways, but I'm like, hey, you know, there should be some, because I think that does add a uh, a bit and so so that's that's what i did um oh yeah and i, I figured i'd add a couple newer looking buildings too like i you, you saw me put down a fairly newish looking condo building and that's something i'm gonna do um one thing i actually did in the um time of, that i was away from making these videos i spent some time making just you know uh, other cities for fun and one of them um, I, I got like a bunch of just um, older kind of condominium apartment looking assets uh, so they were kind of like not as nice uh, apartments and did like kind of a whole um, desert country with that and then that, that was fun uh, I quit that after a couple of weeks but that was a that was a fun little project I, I worked on maybe a month ago that was that was fun and I, I had some fun with that I, I took some light props and made like circles of light around like um in certain spots so it was like light art and that was pretty fun I might see if there's a way I can incorporate anything similar um because light props could be something that could definitely be fun to work with even though the city we so far we've only really seen it during the day I mean that's not to subtract from the fact that seeing it at night is something I want to eventually do. It's mostly just that at this current stage, there's not a lot to see at night because the, uh, a night scene comes together a lot more when a city is very expansive. And in this case, this is not a very large city. I mean, it might look it because of the skyscrapers and the road network, but really, we're in episode 5. This whole thing is still in its infancy. So... There's not a whole lot that we would be seeing if we were to do a night scene. 
Um, but yeah, that being said, I'm going to see if I can find a place to fit in some fun little light things to do like oh i don't know maybe near the uh, stadium district and we you know do that with the football stadium maybe i can maybe i can incorporate um like kind of uh oh it would be a fun idea is if i could try to recreate like the sports logo of whatever team we would come up with and it'd be simple so it'd probably just be like a letter because i'm not going to draw an animal out of like an animal logo out of um out of lights i'm not going to do that um, so it might influence that a bit, but I could try to recreate that and that'd be something cool and it's like a whole park in front of the stadium. Uh, I think that'd be a cool idea actually if I were to do something like that, give it a very unique flair. Um, which could actually tie into the stadium somehow now that I'm thinking about it. Based on the real life inspiration, there is a similar concept, but we're getting off track here. Uh, so there's that building back there. There's that, uh, I think the asset is called the BTB Cram School. It's just a, like, four or five-story tall little elementary school, but I think it fits in so perfectly with kind of dense areas because it's a nice small asset. It's more vertical than anything, and it, it, it functions as a school. So where uh, most of the elementary schools I have are meant to be kind of more neighborhood-like, more suburban-like, like most schools I really find, that's, I think, a good one that you can use in urban settings is that BTB cram school for uh, an elementary school anyways. Uh, similarly, um, there is a high school asset that I like to use. I actually just place it down in urban settings. It's called Classic High School. It's been on the workshop for a long, long, long time. Um, it's, I think it's actually from SimCity 4. And I think that works well in kind of downtown areas because downtowns are usually older parts of the city where it gets its start. And so that would make sense to find one like that there. Um, and I mean, I guess I can actually talk about where you, where there's uh, where I put assets that you know fit in with like a time period or something. I'm um, typically in a more suburban neighborhood. I would try to, I, I guess, put more neighborhood kind of. Um, you know, some more neighborhood kind of services. Like for a school example, let's talk like a high school again. We're going back to the high school idea here. I would place one of those much larger Toronto high school assets that I have, and I'd also completely deck them out with like a football field, a soccer field, a baseball diamond, large parking lots, and all that stuff. And there'd just be so much more that I would be able to do with it because there's more space and there would have been more space at the time that would have actually been constructed. Whereas um, on the other end, when we put a high school in a downtown area, there would not be a whole lot of space for me to put a football field as much as I would uh, you know, maybe want to. And it'd be fun to see. It just isn't something that I can uh, work with. But... You know, as far as fire stations, I, I, it's kind of the same thing. I have two old looking fire station assets, which are also typically larger ones, like the Detroit Fire HQ. I put the large old ones in downtown, and I put the small ones uh, that look new pretty far away. I don't like to have too many fire stations, though, just because it's like that, that doesn't seem realistic. The game always demands more than you would actually need. Um,. Wow, that topic went shorter than I thought. I thought there would be more to talk about with that. But I guess there isn't. Uh, we're starting to kind of maybe be about two-thirds of the way through uh, through this year where I'm placing all these buildings. And I, I do think we did a pretty good job of filling this out with uh, density to a point where it looks to feel like there is kind of you know a transition where it begins to go up in both density and height and just adds a lot I think to the character of the city to this point is to have this and especially some of these outer blocks like this where most of the buildings are two to three stories max instead of the ten that we would have some of them be even in the transitional area where we have these like residential type Brooklyn buildings I think those are some of my favorite blocks in the entire city if not just for the conformity of the roofs, because it all feels like a dense neighborhood. It just feels like one continuous, seamless area, and like that just feels phenomenal when you're looking at it from a certain angle. Um, 
one thing though, there's so many of the freaking Brooklyn assets that sometimes I debate. Well, should I use these when I do a downtown or not? Because I, I mean, as as good as a computer I have for a laptop, it is still a laptop. So I still have issues with um, loading up a whole bunch of mods and assets. So I occasionally do have to cut down on some things like I had to do before. I, I Like after this episode, I did have to cut a few things um, so that I could keep loading this up because I wasn't sure originally if I was going to be able to. But after some time, I did and I got it to work, which is why there's going to be more episodes. So, you know, hooray. Um... But it does come at the cost of, like, there's some applications for some buildings I could that I thought of. It's like, oh, yeah, I can put, you know, this building over here, and it'll really stand out and be kind of like a, its own whole little thing over here. And then I end up having to get rid of it, and it's, it's just unfortunate because it's something I would have actually had an idea in mind for. But there's just so many things of that that you can't have them all. And so it's just, yeah. Oh, okay, right here, this food lion. Uh, one thing I've noticed that I always struggle with when it comes to doing retail assets is how would these places logistically get their supply? Because you would get it from the back of the building. And in my case, I, in like for this food lion, for example, the back of the building is like right by a church. You, you have like no room. Uh, and so it's it doesn't make a whole lot of logistical sense. But... If I were to do it, the thing is it would end up looking way too bare, so I'm not really I'm not I'm not really too keen on doing that. Uh, that being said, when it comes time to do um, commercial areas where I do like, you know, a, a Walmart or a Target, there would definitely be more behind the scenes going on there just because it's on a larger scale. But like that food line, that's not gonna need that. Uh, I, I did decide to put these gas stations right here along this main strip as part of like an entry to downtown. I feel like that kind of adds because we have this little commercial bit area over here. This is lower density commercial. How we have the we have the tire place there that Dunn's transmission. We have the chicken place uh, and a couple little slummier shops right here. Uh, and I put in a Starbucks even though that has a drive through that you won't really be able to use. It's just. That's really the only Starbucks asset I use because it it's only I, I think it's like the only good one. If there's a better Starbucks asset, let let me know. I'd love to use it because I'm actually not a fan of the one that I have been using, but it's about the best I have. Um, because the other one is like somehow worse, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, that's just kind of how it is. But actually, the series that that is from, uh, the building series is the River Park Shopping Center and. There's a so much variety when it comes to that pack of shops, um, and I'm, I'm excited to build a big thing with them. I think actually in the next episode, um, I do end up building a little bit with uh, with that. It's either the next episode or the one after. I can't remember in what order I did things. <laughs> oh, wait, no, yeah, yeah, it is the next episode. I do end up making a few things with that, but the problem is their textures kind of crappy. Um, but it's all right, though. Uh, again, we talk about in the grand scheme of things, does it really make a difference? And then I'm going to answer, no, it, it probably doesn't. I don't think one, uh, you know, a few small buildings having awful textures is going to ruin this as a whole. Anyways, with that being said, and I'm sorry this was such a rambling episode. I mean, it's hard for me to talk for such a continuous amount of time. We are getting to the end here, and I will be putting some um, some cinematics in, but actually do keep in mind that for the next couple episodes, I did not get cinematics, so you'll have to live without them for a little while, uh, and, and I think that'll be, you know, okay, we can adjust with that. It'll be fine. One other thing, since I have about another minute, uh, I'm going to mention um, originally in the... Um, in the description of episode four, I did say that starting from this episode, I was going to use, you know, more Monster Cat music in the background because I have a license to use that. Uh, I went back on that decision. I'm not going to be doing that. We're going to keep using the music that we've been using. I don't have a whole lot of variety with it, so, I, you know, I can run out of it and it can be repetitive. But it fits the tone a lot better, in my opinion. Uh, so we are going to keep 
doing that. Also, tell me what you think of uh, how I did in this episode. If you think it's um, expansive enough of a downtown for the size city we have, I sure think it is. And thank you guys for watching. Please enjoy these cinematics, and I, I'm happy to be back.